Unite Norman is that group trying to recall members of the uh, council because they're trying to recallocate dollars from uh, Norman PD last month. Now, a new group called Norman for All is coming out against Unite Norman. What they really are is divide Norman. Uh, and they're seizing on whatever populist, sensationalist sort of uh, message that they can get. Members of the group Norman for All. We like to think of it like a think tank. They say they first organized after learning about Unite Norman's petition to recall Mayor Bria Clark and city council members for wards one, three, five, and seven. Now they're using their platform to educate Norman residents about the petition. We sort of said to one another, there's a lot of misinformation that's being disseminated. There's a lot of really inaccurate things being said, and we need to come together and collaborate find a way to combat that misinformation. Stephanie Voth and Jeremy Wance tell me if the recall is successful and there's a special election, it will be a waste of taxpayer dollars. We have a regularly scheduled city council uh, election in February. So a month later, they're going to be, be electing people for those seats anyways. So it's, it's a big waste of $30,000, if nothing else. It's not a lot compared to the destruction that this city council has shown the ability to cause. The founder of Unite Norman, Russell Smith, telling me today he's thinking about the bigger picture. If we wait until February, right, they lost their election, they would serve out their term until July. So they would have another chance to take a crack at the, the budget. Here's why that's so dangerous. They another crack at it. Then, I mean, what are we looking at? Abolish? Are we looking at a deeper cut? And Russell also told me today that he's looking forward to having a chance to sit down with Norman for All. He told me that he'd love to if they like to as well. Reporting live tonight, Paris Jones, KOCO 5 News. Evan, back to you. All right, Paris.